So let's bite into some history downtown at Bassetti's Deli. Established in 1882, this is now the oldest deli in Texas, started by an Italian family who migrated here to work on the railroad. Bassetti's. Bassetti's. <laughs> and it's Italian, right? It is. It's Italian all the way. Yeah. This is Teresa, the niece of founder Frank Napoleon Facetti. I know a Texan Italian deli is a bit of an anomaly, but with so many Italians working on the local railroad, well, Frank saw an opportunity to give them a taste of home. Then he just started selling sandwiches of all four corners. Really? In a little cart? A cart, or just handing them without even being wrapped. <laughs> oh, you know, in the shit. good old days. So I guess, you know, 1880s, this this would have been catering to people on the railroad, ranchers, yes. cowboys. I know, anybody and everybody. <laughs> And since that time, Facetti's has been a Victorian institution in a building that feels as much like a German beer hall as it does an old Italian deli. And coincidentally, well, their signature plate has German roots too. What is this? This is the Dutch lunch. How do you say it? Kalterofschnitt. Kalterofschnitt. Uh, it's a German name. Okay, Kalterofschnitt. Oh, you're saying Did I say right? Yeah. Kalterofschnitt. I think you're the first person who has uh, complimented my pronunciation. Kulturaschnitt. It's basically like a big German Lunchable. Fresh rye, fresh veggies, homemade coleslaw, and homemade hot beer mustard. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whoo! That'll open up your sinuses, huh? Now you said go easy on this. Unless you want to burn your mouth. Oh. Can you taste it? <laughs> of course. Go oh. off. That'll light you up. That's good though. That's better than like Claritin or Zyrtec or anything, man. Just put this hot mustard in your sinuses. What all's in it? Oh, several different things in it. Okay, several different things. Nice you're, not, try. you're not gonna tell, I'm trying nice that. Nice try. <laughs> Many recipes around here are secret, including the soups. I think I'm gonna order some of your grandma's soup and finish all of this Okay, out. well thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, all I need to compliment my Dutch lunch is some LMA stew. This is her homemade recipe. Dive into that. That's just kind of comforting, you know what I mean? I love this place because of its history. And you may come in and you expect a historic place to sell modern food, but that's not really what you get here. You get kind of like just simple, delicious sandwiches. Oh yeah, and lots of good spicy beer mustard. If you liked this video, chances are you're gonna love another video that's somewhere right about here. Or you can visit thedaytripper.com. But above all, what I want you to do most, remember the Alamo. I'll see all y'all out on the road. Bye, con Dios, amigos.